Hello there YouTube, it is Wednesday, it is time for another episode of Let's Get Better and uh, today we are on episode 10 and as promised we'll be talking about drawing or constructing the head which is a very hard topic to tackle, especially in a fairly short video so uh, bear with me while I'll do my best to cover it all uh, First a few things that you need to realize when drawing heads uh, first, everything can be broken down into simple shapes. Uh, a head is simply a collection of shapes which all have a set of planes. Remember the episode of about the Osaro heads from, uh, from a few episodes back? Uh, if you haven't seen it, uh, go check it out, because uh, that, that episode will explain this point. Uh, on second, there are uh, certain rules or guidelines when it comes to drawing faces, like certainties that when you apply those rules, you will have an okay looking face. Uh, if you get more familiar with the rules, you will allow to, you will be like get comfortable with them and you will be able to change them or break them to come up with very interesting faces. And on three, um, every head is pretty much just a skull with some skin and muscles and some fat with some people. Uh, the bone structure of the skull gives the head a certain shape so learning to draw a skull will help you to understand how to draw a face. And of course last, uh, practice makes perfect. With pretty much everything it is a skill and uh, skills need to be trained. So take your time and don't expect yourself to be the master of faces in a day. Every time you sit down and train yourself to draw heads or faces, you'll be getting better. Sometimes things just click and you will grow really fast, other times not so much and you will have to wait a while and train hard before it sort of like clicks. Uh, but don't be discouraged, like again, practice makes perfect and uh, a lot of patience too, alright? Okay, so with most of these episodes I am mostly going to give you the tools or show you the tools or practices that you can do to get better at it because these step-by-step -step video tutorials on how you draw a circle and a line and blah 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 there's just so many of them and I, it just takes so long before they get to the clue it's tiring so uh, at least I find it tiring if you love that stuff then that's perfect uh, never mind me um, but I don't want to do my videos like that. I just want to go down to the like what you can do, be very practical about it, show you it in an easy way, and then expect you to pick it up and practice it. All right. Okay. So first, uh, first we will go over that um, breaking hats into simple shapes and planes. Uh, for example, we have this pretty hat here. Uh, which gives a pretty good read right away. Uh, it has a good protru protruding nose, uh, a nice big chin and cheekbones, and nice deep eyes. Uh, a great face to uh, draw as practice. So, but let me first show you what I mean with breaking it down to simple shapes. As you will see that the, the basic ball hat can be placed right over this face. And funny enough, the places where the hair starts, uh, the eyebrows are located, and the bottom of the nose and lips, they're, they're right where they would normally be, according to theory. So the only thing that are a little off, it seems, are the ears. The ears seem to be a little bit lower. But uh, other than that, this hat really does meet like the drawing book standards. As you will see when we got the basic ball head down, going over with the nose shape, uh, curving out the eye sockets, cheekbone, and uh, cheekbones and ears and lips, we have a very nice and basic hat, something a lot of people begin with when they want to learn to draw a hat. Uh, try this exercise yourself a couple of times to see if you can get it right. Normally most faces are built this way, but just see if you can get it right and detect the rules that are sort of like guiding almost all the faces. Okay, so now we move over to the rules or guidelines that you should memorize and practice. First, the distance between the eyebrows and the bottom of the nose is the same distance as the bottom of the nose to the bottom of the chin. Second, the top of the ears are in line with the eyebrows and the bottom of the ears are in line with the bottom of the nose. There are also some guidelines about the facial features. For example, 
The width of the nose is in line with the inner parts of the eyes. The width of the nose is about the same as the width of the eyes, and the width of the nose is almost as wide as the mouth. The corners from the mouth are a little wider. All right, so now that we did that, we take the skin layer off. Yes, we're gonna draw some skulls. I know most drawing books keep you sitting around with the ball head and expect the reader or the viewer to just keep doing that stuff. But I find that understanding how to draw heads and faces gets, gets much easier when you know what is underneath. And the fun part is, is that the rules we just discussed still, still sort of apply to skulls. So my tip would definitely be to try drawing some skulls. There are plenty of Google images around that could be of great reference to you. Just look them up and try drawing them. But try using the method I'm showing you in the background and just earlier to make them look right. So that it becomes a real representation of the image you were looking at. Uh, if you can manage to do that, I think you will get a much better grip of heads and, uh, and faces that you want to draw. And getting the knowledge that of what is underneath really comes in handy, you will see. Okay, so now we went through complex to simple shapes, guidelines and rules that you can apply to pretty much all the phases in the world, and a little bit about skull anatomy uh, or anatomy of the face. And now you have a little bit of knowledge that can help you get better at drawing and painting faces. And here's a couple of exercises that you can do to practice these fundamentals so you can actually get better at it. it up for uh, this week's episode uh, next week it's going to be about digital painting and uh, how you can approach that and what you kind of need to set up and how to blend and all sorts of topics that I will still have to figure out before uh, next week comes uh, anyway I hope this was useful for you uh, I had fun making this uh, video uh, practicing all the things that I uh, used to do a few years ago and uh, realizing now that I should have done a little bit more practice <laughs> for this episode but uh, yeah I hope it was useful and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet uh, click a thumbs up if you like the video and uh, if you have requests or comments or questions uh, leave them below in the comment section and uh, have a great week see you later <laughs>